how is 701 different from 601? Well, it's a similar skill level. It continues to identify early career cybersecurity skills at the two-year level. Um, 701 has the same number of exam domains, but fewer objectives due to a more focused job role in a maturing industry. And so we've found that you know, security administrators, we right now really know what they're required to do and what they're not required to do um, because there's different job roles. And so you know, even with Security Plus, we were able to take out you know, some of the pen testing stuff and put it in you know, Pen Test Plus for that job role. Some of the basic networking skills you know, taken out, put in Network Plus. And so we're finding the cybersecurity industry in general is becoming more refined, more focused, and now we know better than ever the job roles that we need to focus on and the skills we need to focus on, and importantly, what we don't need to focus on. The related job roles are uh, similar, which I was just talking about. It's become more defined. And the skills are performed and identified with more accuracy. Um, also, we have a lot more nice work roles, which I'm going to show you. So any of you who work with um, the NICE framework, it's a US-based framework uh, that identifies work roles for cybersecurity. And um, we map to a lot of those with the 701. Um, also, several exam domains and exam objectives were reordered and renamed to address instructional design improvements. For example, we now have a domain called General Security Concepts that covers the basic principles such as confidentiality, integrity, availability, um, as well as you know what a security control is. You know different types of security controls that you'd be responsible for. Um, you know uh, for keeping and uh, implementing. Um, as well as you know the vocabulary um, so that you can speak the same language as other cybersecurity professionals. Um, another area was the implementation from 601. We had one domain that just focused on implementation, but that's where most of the uh, hands-on work was. Well, we've changed that for instructional design purposes, and now the implementation is done in the domain where that implementation, implementation would take place. And so that was just a sound, you know, change for for education that you would you know cover the implementation uh, where the skill is being taught that makes a lot of sense last thing I wanted to point out was that the name governance risk and compliance was changed from the old version for that domain which was domain 5 that domain changed from governance risk and compliance to security program management and oversight so those of you that are familiar with 601 um, what we've learned over the past three years and longer than that, it's been a trend coming, is that when you're a cybersecurity professional, when you're a security administrator, which is what this job role is teaching, um, you don't have to be a compliance analyst or a you know, GRC specialist. Uh, what you need to be able to do is essentially um, report and communicate the work you are working on because you'll likely be working with someone else who represents GRC, who perhaps is a compliance analyst, or perhaps it is your CISO, your chief information security officer, his office, right, or her office, that you have to then provide information to them that they will then use to report to the, um, you know, the agency that they're responsible for, proving that you are, you know, fulfilling a, um, a, a, um, a framework or that you're fulfilling a um, you know a, a regulation there's a lot of different forms of that out there but what you need to know is that you know cybersecurity professionals someone in security plus they just need to be able to report the trends that they're seeing in various reports that are set up and that then go to the GRC teams so that's a key change because we used to think that security administrators, cybersecurity pros, all had to be more familiar with um, GRC. And we're finding now, no, need to report and communicate.